things you need to know about recording with OBS. Where are my files, for example? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to settings right here in the bottom right. Then here we're gonna go to video. We have a base canvas, which is just what you see here. This is 1920 by 1080p and an output scale. This is the aspect ratio of the recording you're gonna record. You can change that right here and the FPS that you're gonna record it at. So this is the resolution and the FPS of your recording. We have more output things in here that we can set for streaming and recording. So if you go to the recording tab, this is what you see. If you don't see all this, this is on simple and you gotta have to change it to advanced. Now here we see the recording path. G video raw. This is where you store your videos. If I go to browse, you can see that here are some recordings I've made. You can basically change this to wherever you want. Generate file name without space. Then, well, it just generates a file name without a space in it. Here you see the format, so you can have any of these. Keep in mind that if you make your recording in MP4, that if it stops recording halfway through, your file is lost. So what I recommend is making it MKV, even if you can't edit an MKV. I can, but I'm still making them an MKV because there is this option to automatically make it MP4 afterwards. So here we have the audio tracks. You'll find them back right here in the advanced audio mixer. You can see the tracks here and all the tracks that are ticked in on the recording will be on a recording in a different track. So if you only have one ticked in, we only have everything from one. If you have one and two ticked in, it will be recording track one and track two, and there will be two separate tracks. So if you put it in your editing software, you see the audio on two tracks. So for me here, if you see that the bits and stuff like that are not coming in on any other channel than on channel one, because this is the channel I use for streaming. If I record something and an alert goes off, I can use the second track, because the second track doesn't have any alerts in it. Let's go back to the settings. Here, encoder, you can use a different encoder than your stream. If you keep it on stream, you'll see which one it is right here. Custom mixer settings, you can set that here. Automatically file splitting. So if the file is taking really long, you can automatically split that in two. As it says here, Recordings cannot be paused if recording encoder is set to use stream encoder. So we cannot pause the recording, but we can't restart it. So you can stop and start it, but you can't pause it. I don't think that's a problem for me because for me, I just put them back together in the editing anyway. If you want to set the audio bit rate, you go to audio and you can set the bit rate for the audio here per track. For the video one, you go to streaming here and this is where you say bit rate because it's using the same encoder. All these encoder settings will also apply on your recording because this uses the same as a streaming. If you're recording an MKV, but you want your recordings to be in MP4, what you need to do is go to advanced and here in the recording tab, it says automatically remox to MP4. If you turn this on, what it's gonna do is if you stop recording, you will see this processing bar and you will actually be getting an MKV and an MP4. Here is a coding format. So now it's like year, month, day, hours, minutes, seconds. This is just what's gonna use to make a name for this file. And if you want to replay buffer, then you have the name here. If you want the files to overwrite each other, click on this, but I would not do that because it's better to have two different files and then delete them afterwards. If you see that you have a double one or that you have a one that you want to get rid of. For the rest, what you record is the things that you see on the screen. So if I switch scenes, you will see the switching scene animation and you will see the next scene. There are plugins that are actually allowing you to record one source, which is a plugin from Excel Draw. I'll leave a link to that plugin underneath in the description. So if you're interested in that, you can do that via there. But normally you will just be recording this screen, the screen that you also have as your output for streaming. I have a whole video about OBS and how you can set it up. So let's jump into this playlist and I'll see you there.